<laughs> we got our first one this morning. Hurt that bad. Yeah. Told you it was the orange balloon. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, baby. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hey you guys, I'd like to welcome you to this edition of the on this saltwater fishing trip. We're up here in the canals in the Caloosahatchee River fishing for tarpon, which this guy here, he's not a huge tarpon, but you know what? I don't care. That's a great fish right there. And you saw how he's jumping all over the place, so they're a blast. Let's dig in here from this side, so I bet you... I don't know, the other day, ooh, the other day we had one that was uh, about 65, 70 pounds just skied right on top of us. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited about seeing what's going on. We may get some smoke, may just get tarpon, we may even get a redfish or two. So you guys stay tuned, and I'm excited about the show we got today. Stay tuned. to the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show. Fishing television with intensity. Your host, Captain Ben Chansey, invites you to come along for some line singing, leader free and tackle busting action. Chew On This. Hey, if big fish is what you're looking for, then you've come to the right fishing show. Giant Goliaths, Monster Snook, Hungry Man Eating Sharks, Huge Redfish, and Big Time Tarpon. Chew, 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 chew on this. Fishing television with intensity. Are you ready for some of the most intense, highly entertaining saltwater fishing you have ever seen? Then sit back, tighten up, and chew on this with Captain Ben Chansey. It flyers! <laughs> they up, baby, come on. Oh, we got us a double! Oh, nice, nice, nice. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. All right, now that's a lot bigger one. I don't want him jumping on me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I didn't even have a chance to get mine un unleashed here. All right. Whoa. Whoa. All right, you want to step over the rod real quick? Yeah. All right, you step over the rod. And I'm going to release my little guy. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I don't think you're not releasing it yet. And what do you think about it, baby? You told me these balloons would be the trick. You said they bite better on the balloons. And sure enough, oh, heck yeah. Good stuff, my man. All right, you guys, I'm gonna release mine real quick here. And you won't believe the size of hook that we use on this. I've got a one aught little tiny eagle claw bait hook. Chase has a little bit bigger hook, and they both should be working for us. Oh, Chancey, Chancey. Oh, oh, another one, another one. I get that one, you take care of yours. Oh, he's going crazy, baby. <laughs> Come oh, on, come on! <laughs> <laughs> come on! <laughs> wow, this is ridiculous. Oh, shoot. <laughs> come on Ooh. now, come on, come on, come see me. Oh, he's wrapped around that, that line. Oh, really? That. Yeah. Oh, I got a sailboat. Oh, my word! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Still got you on that anchor line. Ain't nothing I can do about that right now. Maybe we can bring him all the way back. You got yours up to the top yet? In a minute, he will be. Well, hey, you guys, as I said, we're gonna drop some of these balloons in and we were catching fish from maybe five, seven pounds. Chase's here is probably about 30, maybe 35. And this one I got here is a pretty good size one as well. He's got me beat up a little bit, but we'll see. You know, technically, that was almost a triple hookup. I think that was, I consider it Yeah, well, I, you know, I dropped it off. It went quite a triple, but it was good stuff. Good stuff. And on balloons. 
Well, that's a cool little setup you got there. Three line up. They go straight to the bottom, but these balloons keep them up the surface when the, where the tarpon like to eat. You know, yours, that one's on a balloon, the first one was on a balloon, and then this last one here was on, it was a free line bait. Now the key is for me to keep this fish on long enough so we can get over there, we can get yours undone, and get over there and get that one undone. Yep. <laughs> My line is way over there around that rope and this tarp is jumping right over here. Hey, come on, man, I'll help you out. I'll put this one in the rod holder. Yeah, guys, we're rod holder and one tarpon to get another tarpon here on our, uh, here, let me get a, let me trade spots with you here so I can get a little bit lower in the deck and grab the fish. Here you go. There you go, buddy. I'm gonna bring him up to you this time. Look at that beautiful fish right there. Come on, girl. Ooh. All right, nice. You got to done your head out of the water. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I told you they would jump on you. Oh yeah, that jump in the boat. Oh, he whacked me pretty good. <laughs> you guys don't realize it, but sometimes it's a little dangerous out here. All right, well you guys wait just a moment and we'll be right back, okay? This segment has been brought to you by the Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. Now you guys back at home, you know, I went through stages. Whenever I was a little kid, bobbers were the best in the world. And the reason why they were is because when you're a little kid, you don't pay attention a lot. You know, you don't pay attention to how tight you keep your line or where your bait's swimming and all that type of stuff. So if there's a cork, something for you to watch, then you're able to you know, kind of follow what the fish is doing, what your bait's doing. You know when you got a bite, you know when to reel and set the hook. Well now, I don't know, 20, 25 years after I first started cork fishing, maybe even more than that, I don't want to tell my age or anything, uh, we're using, we'll call them strike indicators, but actually they're just balloons, as you well know. And it allows us to look and see what's going on. And even if we don't have a fish on and we haven't got the bite yet, we get to see our cork or our balloon start going crazy. And whenever it goes crazy, even though it hasn't went under, we know that something's about to happen. So it gives us a lot of anticipation and it makes it very fun. You know, even though we haven't hooked up yet, we're like, oh, I'm about to get one. So it's a real exciting type of fishing even before you get to strikes. So it makes it a good time. Hopefully we'll be able to show you guys some more of this action. Hey guys, today what we're using we got about two and a half, three foot, 50, 50 pound fluorocarbon leader, an eight aught circle hook connected to a double uni knot. No swivel. But the key today is balloons. Now, the reason why we're using these balloons today, as you might have seen earlier, is that when that tarpon went around that rope over on that dock, it popped. It would pop. And that creates that there's no drag. Now, if you're using a regular cork, that cork will hang up and break you off. That's why we're using bobbers today. Now we're fishing in about eight foot of water. And this balloon keeps it up on the top of the water column where the tarpon are feeding today. It's real simple. Depending on what depth you're fishing, take it either below or above the knot to your, your depth. I think it's a trick today. It's also your favorite color. It's also my favorite color. <laughs> this segment is being brought to you by the Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. Oh, 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 come on, 
baby. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> nice fish, my man. Hey, little baby. Tarpon, snook. Not that bad. Just start on the snook part. Hey, he's eating. We got this bad weather movement in on us. Maybe he decided it's time to get busy. Or a snapper? Snapper? I say it's a snapper. Might be a redfish though, huh? Ah, it's a red catfish, you guys. <laughs> Glad I didn't catch that one. <laughs> Ooh, there we bust. Hey Chase, you know what's kind of funny? You know, a lot of people will get in their boats, you know, that are on canals and things like that, and travel who knows how far to go catch fish. And little do they know if they just spend a little time close to home, there's some good fish right in your backyard. Canal fishing has always been one of my favorite types of fishing. I used to be prejudiced towards that other type of fishing where you'd have to go out far, go fish grass flats and all that type of stuff. Because I knew if I just knew my area well enough, I could catch all the fish that I could out there. And for you guys that say, ah, I need to go far and that type of stuff, put a little extra time at home and fish boats, fish docks, fish areas, maybe bring chum back at the end of your day and chum up certain areas and you'll be surprised at what you can find that's behind your house, behind your buddy's house that lives on the water, or just some places where you think might hold fish. Go in there and check it out, and I can almost guarantee you won't be disappointed. Not every place is gonna hold fish, but you'll find some new spot where you can say, hey, the weather's bad, I can go over here and catch fish, or this is, I don't necessarily like how it is over here, let me go check this out. I think you guys will really enjoy it, so make sure you spend a little bit of extra time learning your waters in your backyard. And I mean off your back dock or as close as you can because there's tarpon, redfish, snook, everything. So you guys just spend a little time in your backyards and you'll be surprised at how much better of a fisherman you can become as far as the type of fish you're catching. I mean, just look at that catfish you just caught. <laughs> This segment is being brought to you by the Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. I'm going now. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm going now. Oh. Oh. oh that's bait. Really? That's good bait. What that's you got awesome on there? bait. What you got on there to be popping that? Oh, oh, come on, baby. A redfish? Oh. I think it's a big red, huh? It's a red. Good stuff. Okay, I'm behind you. <laughs> Walk around to the back. I think that's a little slam. I do think we got a slam in here, huh? Well, we went, got bait, fished one canal all day long, and caught a slam. Which, in case some of you guys don't know, a slam's whenever you catch, at least here in Southwest Florida, it's a redfish, a snook, and a tarpon. And this redfish completed our slam today, so. That's a good job there, sir. Not bad. Good job. Beautiful redfish. And that got that pretty bronze color, huh? Oh, it's got that gold color to yeah, it. Yeah, because we're up in the river, got a nice dark tint to them. I like them when they look like that. Tannic acid. Right. Oh. 
Look at that. We got a trout, a smoke, tarpon. Oh, I didn't say the trout. Redfish. <laughs> <laughs> If we get the trout, Grand Slam. Yeah. Ah, I've caught them in here. I know they get up in these canals. It happens. But if there was one that I was going to miss out of the species, I could miss a trout. <laughs> Not hating on them, but you know. I was going to miss one. Oh, that's All beautiful. Right. Oh, I'm getting a bite. That's on mine. That's on mine. Come on. Isn't it funny the difference between the redfish and the snook? When you set hook, he just kind of boils on top of the water a little bit. He doesn't come out of the water. It's like automatic, you know, the difference between the two. Uh-oh, boiling on him again. Yep. I'm gonna catch him. There he is, I see him. Somebody's being lazy on me. Lazy fish. Come up, kissed it a couple of times, and then didn't eat it. Get a hit? Oh! Is that issue bait again? Man, I got some, get some good bait. Got a lot of bait. Oh! Oh! What's that? Tarpon. Oh! oh, 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 oh. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Definitely what I'm talking about. I, just, I think you're starting to wake up a little. Yeah, you know what? That pink balloon bait you gave me, that pink balloon's not working for me yet, you know? You give me the you, you jinxed me or something. It's been out there for about an hour. Well, let's see if it's the pink or the blue. What's that, a catfish? Yeah, it's a big old catfish. <laughs> Dude, you think it's a tarpon? Now, you might better start turning. Because if it ain't a tarpon, it's running in the bush. Yeah, let's get that thing turned. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, you gotta get whooping Oh, down, down, right tip down. Lower, lower in the water, lower in the water. Come on. Oh. Uh, keep it down, keep it down, down further. Down, all the way. There you go. Oh. oh, yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta put more of a beating on those guys when it's like that. Nice. You got pumped. You got pumped. <laughs> I'm curious to know what that was. Uh, my opinion is big snook. Because he knew where he wanted to take you and took you there. Mm hmm. I thought he was a tarpon at first. No, he didn't jump. This segment is being brought to you by the Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. A little bit of chummers. <coughs> Got bad weather and some chum. It should be a for sure bite. Well, you guys, what we got here, the reason why we're over here fishing this spot and how we found this spot is uh, Chase Conley over here. He was one of my wrestlers that I coached in high school, and he lives down around the corner. He's like, hey, coach, check this out. I've got these fish down here. There's these tarpon that sit in this canal and snook, too, and I catch redfish also. I'm like, all right, let's go check it out. So we came over here, and we pre-fished one day to see what's in here and to see if we could do all right. Just like he says, fish were in here eating and doing a good job for us. And I think that day we jumped three tarpon and caught three or four snook or something like that. So I'm like, he's like, you want to do a show? I'm like, yeah, let's go do a show. So here we are giving it our shot. And you know, I hope I hadn't disappointed you guys because I've had a good time. We've caught some good fish and appreciate it there, Chase, showing us this great spot. 
Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, I think you got it. <laughs> oh, he's a pig. Oh, come here, boy. I'm glad one of these guys decided to eat for us. Well, come on, little man. Yeah, I know, I should have that. Let me work my hands real quick. Well, hey, hey, you guys. Looks like the weather's coming in on us. It's getting a little, 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 little rough looking on us. So, this will probably be our last fish of the day. And he's a pretty little guy. And he's a little guy, but I don't care. As long as they're still biting for me, I'm happy. Speaking of that, I think Chase might have a fish behind me. But I think he's got a catfish. I know I got a catfish. <laughs> but that's all right. I had a great time today. And I appreciate Chase showing me these fish. You know, it's not too often you can get a slam right here in the river, right around the corner. And I mean, I'm sure catfish counts for something, too. But Jay, sir, hey man, I appreciate it, sir. No problem Thank at you all. very much. I had a good time. And you guys, hey, remember this. Whether you're going around the corner or you're going 100 miles out, whether you see big fish or little fish, you take that bait. When you swing it out there to them, you tell them to chew on this. Godspeed, you guys. <laughs>